Welcome to Dude RV in Northeast Texas at Cooper Lake State Park, Doctors Creek Unit. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, if this is your first visit, please click on the subscribe button down below and remember to hit that bell as well. You don't want to miss another episode of the Dude RV Adventure Show. Today, I find myself in Northeast Texas at Cooper Lake State Park, Doctors Creek Unit. Thanks to the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department, we're gonna to get to do a tour of this campground. So I got the scooter, I got the GoPro, and most important, and most important, I got you. It is extremely windy today. I'm gonna do my best to keep that wind noise to a minimum. We gotta get back over here on the road. Cue the music. Here we go. Now there is no longer a Cooper Lake. There's a big lake and, and Cooper Lake State Park is on that lake, but it is no longer called Cooper Lake. Breaking the law, breaking the law. We'll stop twice next time. All right, it is August 17, 2020. And we are still in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. And what better way to social distance than to go spend a couple of days at the state park. So we're climbing up onto the, whoa, that's a lot of wind. That's the, the damn berm. The damn berm. All right. Once we get into the park down in these trees, it won't be quite so windy. But we gotta run down here and take a look at the boat ramp first and foremost. I tried to take my little inflatable boat out this morning and it was just, it, that wasn't happening. I could go downwind real easy, but going back upwind was not simple. So look at the size of this parking lot. That leads me to believe that it, it, at certain points, times of the year, this is a really busy boat ramp. We're gonna cruise over here by the fish cleaning station and it's a good one too for those of you who like boat ramps here is a three lane boat ramp all right we're gonna go against the arrows. I don't see anybody coming. Now there's supposed to be a lot of deer in this park, but so far I have seen nary a one. I've seen a couple of armadillos and a bunch of vultures. Of 
breaking the law, breaking the law. Uh, the Texas Highway Department has done a nice job creating a very smooth road for me to scoot on. And I really appreciate that. Way better than that last place I was camped. Wapsahatchee Creek Park. Of course, that was a COE, so TxDOT does not get ragged on for that. All right, the next point of interest is just really, a, for us, for this video, it's just a parking lot. But this is how you access uh, primitive camping, the fishing dock, and it's just a pretty little peninsula where you can go and sleep in a tent, if that's your thing. Doctor's Creek unit at Cooper Lake State Park is not a real big facility. It's not a real big park. We're about an hour drive north of McKinney. So probably an hour and a half, you know, if, depending on what you're driving. Now RV time is always longer than uh, Google map time. But it, it took me an hour to get here from the McKinney area. This is the, the day use swim area. Uh, they've got a volleyball court, a nice play structure for the kiddos, uh, and there's a seawall built around the beach. Because this lake is, is very windy. Now going across the dam, there's, there are signs that say, caution, high crosswinds. There's the dump station. Now we're going to head into the camping loop. I was talking to a local yesterday, and he said he used the phrase hidden gem. And I'm I'm agree with him because I have, there's not too many people camping here. But of course school has kind of started reopening. And it is, you know, the hot. This is the hottest weekend we've had this year. Temps up in the three digits. I think we're supposed to be 101 degrees today. And that is, uh, for a lot of people, not fun to camp in. Now, there's a hike, couple of hiking trails here. So that's the parking lot for the West Loop Hike and Bike Trail. If you want to see these various points of interest in more detail, you can click on the uh, Texas State Park playlist and you'll find my experiential video. I was scooting yesterday evening and there, there's the gnats were just unbelievably, I mean, it was just like one massive swarm of gnats. Fortunately, I'd put on my driving glasses in anticipation of bugs in the eye. Now, they're serious about you not going fast on this camping loop. They've got a number of speed bumps. I'm gonna look. We're gonna see the loop one and a half times because I'm about half on the 
the, the bottom of the loop, I guess you could call it. So we'll go all the way around once, and I'll turn around and go back. All the sites are very level. They're all concrete, uh, but they're narrow. So in the case of my campsite, I I've got a pretty substantial step because of the drop off from the pad. the sites here on the right have trails that lead down to the water so there's there is water access and another bump there are three air-conditioned cabins and four screen shelters We have come full circle. We're going to zip through this, pull through. Now this would probably be the hottest site. There is no shade. Alright, head back around. And then we'll close it out. There's a total of five or six occupied sites. Now that's not counting the park host sites, that's just campers. That's not too bad for a Friday afternoon. bottom down and here we are at Miss V RV and those are always so much fun I sure appreciate y'all coming along for the ride if you enjoyed it hey give me one of those thumbs up and blast me out across your social media sphere remember I post new videos every Sunday morning 10 a.m. Central Time and at other times as well, but I am, I'm definitely on a Sunday morning schedule. I appreciate you riding along with me. And for those of you who have been following along, man, I sure appreciate y'all. That's why I do what I do. Y'all come back now, you hear?